guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Today, I'm going to be showing you how to find the exact length of a curve. So let's say you have a curve like this, and then you have to find it between 0 and 5 for these x values, right? And including them. So now, the first step is the equation for a length of the curve basically is going to be equal to L equals integral right with a b and then the square root one plus dy over dx squared and then dx right here so here a and b basically represent basically represent these endpoints so a is going to be zero and b is going to be 5, corresponding to each one. And then dy over dx here is going to be our derivative. So we need to find a derivative of this, okay? And that we will put in here. And so basically, we have to find the derivative of this starting off. So derivative of this, basically dy over dx is going to be equal to, well, this is, um, this here we have an exponent, so we can use the power rule for finding the derivative. So using the power rule, we just bring the 3 over 2 down. So 7 times 3 over 2, the next, right? And then here we subtract 1 from this exponent, so 3 over 2 minus 1. And the 4, well the derivative of the 4 is just going to be 0. So here we're going to simplify, 7 times 3 is 21. This, this is over 2, and then this is x, and then 3 over 2 minus 1, 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, right? The same thing as this, and then it's going to be 21 over 2, x, 3 minus 2 is going to be 1, so here it's a half, so it's going to be 21 over 2 times square root of x. So this is our derivative. So now that we got this derivative, we have to take this derivative, right, dy over dx, we have to plug it back into our formula. So let's plug everything into formula. So we have a and b, right? So let's write those in. So a is going to be 0, and b is going to be 5. And then we plug in the derivative. So here's just 1, we copy that 1, plus the square of the derivative. So 21 over 2 times square root of x. All of this squared and then dx, like that. And then to find the length, we just basically evaluate this. So evaluating this here, we will get, we're going to simplify the square root, the stuff inside the square root. So 1 plus the square, we're going to square each one. So 21 squared, right? 21 squared and 2 squared. The square into each one of them using exponent rules. And then here it's square root of x, square root of x, right? Squared, it's going to cancel out eventually, so that will show in the next step. So here it's 1 plus 21 squared is going to be 441, and then 2 squared is going to be 4, and then square root of x squared, well they cancel out square root and square, root, they're opposite, so it's just going to be x like that. And then dx, like this. And then now for the next step, so we have to evaluate the integral of this whole thing. And to do that, the trick is we can use a substitution. So let's substitute, right? Let's let this be some sort of variable, this whole thing inside the square root. Okay, so let's let, let u equals 1 plus 441 over 4 times x, okay? And then what happens next is, what happens next is we find a derivative of this. So the derivative of this, of u, is going to be equal to 441 over 4, like this, because we basically have exponent of 1 here, right? The x, and it's going to multiply by 1 here, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. And so that's how we get 441 over 4. Now, 
what we do is we take this dx and we multiply on this side, so it's going to be du equals 441 over 4 times dx. So we're going to try to isolate for dx here, right? So we're going to isolate for dx so we can substitute it back into the equation for dx. So isolating for dx, we multiply by 4 on this side, so 4 times du is equal to 441 dx. And then dx is equal to 4 times du over 441. And then dx is ultimately equal to this, so I'm going to rewrite dx is equal to 4 over 441 times du. So this whole thing, this dx, we can substitute it with this, basically. And then now we can see this is 0 and 5, right? Since we use a substitution, we basically have to consider when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5, and then find out what u is going to become. So let's say if x, if x equals 0, what's going to happen is we basically have to find our u. So u in this case is going to be 1 plus 441 over 4 times 0, right? Because this is our u right here. So we just basically plug in the 0 into this x right here, just like this, okay? And then we're going to get 1. So u is going to be equal to 1 if x is equal to 0. Now, if x is equal to 5, we plug this 5 into the x right here, right? So we're going to do that. So it's going to be u equals 1 plus 441 over 4 times 5. And then it's going to be 1 plus 441 times 5 is going to be 2,205. And then this is over 4, okay? And then let's find a common denominator, so 4 over 4 here, plus 2,205 over 4. When you add these together, it's going to become 2,209 over 4, so this is going to be our u. So here, when we write the integral in place of 5 and 0, well, we know if x is equal to 0, right, we get 1 right here. So we're going to write in 1 for the 0 that was here. We're going to replace it with the 1, because we're doing it with u's now. And then with 5, we know that if x is equal to 5, we get this as our u. So we're going to write in 2,209 over 4 for the u right here in place of 5. And then this is basically going to be u, right? Because it's shown here that u is equal to this whole expression. So we're going to write u here because we're changing everything to use, and then this dx is going to be what we found here, right? We're going to substitute this in for dx, so we substitute 4 over 441 times du in for dx, and then we know this is a constant, right? So let's take this out in front of the integral sign, so it's a lot more easier to deal with, so 400, 4 over 441 this whole thing and then this is u the square root of u right square root of u is the same as u to the exponent of 1 over 2 okay and then this is just du right here so we took this out and we have u to the exponent of 1, one half and then du and then what happens next is we can integrate this so integrating this integrating this we will get, well, let's copy a constant first. We just basically multiply by this whole thing, right? So this is a half, so a half, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. It's just going to be 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, right? So we can have a common denominator. It makes adding easier. Then we just copy basically what we have in the exponent here. So using the power rule of integration, and then we have it all here and then the bounds are going to be 2209 over 4 and 1 and then what happens next is we can simplify this part so it's going to be this 4 over 441 times u here is going to be 3 over 2 as the exponent and then 3 over 2 in the denominator as well and then 
2,209 over 4, 1 right here. And then from here, we can flip this, 3 over 2, right? Instead of 3 over 2, it's going to be 2 over 3, and then we can change it to multiplication. So it looks much better and more easier to deal with. So it's going to be 2 over 3 times u to the exponent 3 over 2. And then these bounds. And then after that, we can basically plug these in for u. So plug in these bounds in for u. So it's just going to be, we're going to put this out. We're going to keep this out. And then it's going to be 2 over 3 times 2,209 over 4. This whole thing, right? This is our u to the exponent of 3 over 2 minus, okay, minus, and then 2 over 3, and then u is going to be 1, right? So 1 to the exponent of 3 over 2, it's just going to be 1, so we don't really have to write that part. Um, and then 4 over 441 times 2 over 3, and then here this is going to be 2,209 to the exponent of 3 over 2, so this is 4, right? Well, 4 we can rewrite it as um, 2 squared, okay? It's going to make our life easier if we write it as 2 squared because we can take this exponent and we can cancel it out. I'll show you in the next step. So ultimately, we basically distribute this exponent here and here. So distributing it here to 4, it's going to, this is our 4, right? And then we just rewrote 4 as 2 squared. And then here it's going to be just 2 over 3 because if you multiply by 1, this is just 1, right? 1, 6, 1, 3 over 2 is just 1, so... It's going to be 1. And then next step, we have 4 over 441 times, uh, this is going to be 2 over 3 times, let's rewrite this, 2,209. Let's rewrite it as 2,209 to the exponent of 2 over 2, right? So this will be basically to the exponent of 1, and then we can also write 2,209, write this whole thing, multiplied by 2,209 to the exponent of half, like this, because here it's 3 over 2, right? 2 over 2 plus a half is going to give us 3 over 2, so we can change this to multiplication in accordance with exponent rules, exponent laws, so we have this, and then we look at this, okay, 2 squared, 2 squared times 3 over 2, like that. Cancel out the 2, so it's just going to be a 3 here. Minus 2 over 3, like this. And then, next step, we can see that this is 4 over 441. And then, this is just 2 over 3 times... Well, this is just going to be 2,209, right? It's 2 to the exponent of 1. Right here, 2 over 2 is 1, so it's just going to be 2,209. And here, it's like the square root of square root of 2,209, which actually gives you a nice number. So I'll write that in the next step, but I'll show you why later. It says 2 to the exponent of 3. This is minus 2 over 3. And then... Next step, 4 over 441 times, well here this is to the exponent of 1, right? So we can basically cancel this and make this 2 squared instead. And then here we can write 1 over 3, right? This is going to become 1 over 3 times 2,209. The square root of 2,209 is going to be... 47, so this is going to become 47 instead. After getting 2,209 to be 47, we look at the denominator. This is 2 squared. 2 squared is going to be 4, so we write 4 here. And then we have minus 2 over 3 right here. From here, we have to multiply these two together. 
So it's going to be 4 over 441. Here, we're copying that. And then uh, let's multiply these two together. Yeah, why not? 3 times 4 is going to be 12. 2,209 times 47 is going to be 103,823. And then we minus 2 over 3. Minus 2 over 3. And we know we can make a common denominator here. So multiply by 4. Okay. And then, so we can basically evaluate this part inside the brackets. 4 over 441 times this big number over 12 minus 8 over 12. And then we just basically subtract this. And subtracting that, subtracting that, here it's 4 over 441. Subtracting that, we will get 103,815 over 12, like this. And then we can divide this by 4. Divide this by 4, it's going to become 3. And then rewriting this, it will just be 103815 over 441 times 3. And furthermore, we can divide this number by 3. Dividing this number by 3 and dividing the bond by 3, right? Dividing this by 3 is so we're going to get 1. Dividing this by 3, we will get 34605. So 34605. 34605 over 441. And then we can see that we can divide both the top and bottom by 9. Divide by 9, and then we are ultimately going to get 3845 over 49. So this is basically, this here, it's going to be the length, the length of the curve, right, for, represented by this equation, from 0 to 5, for x values from 0 to 5, and so yeah, and that's it. So anyways guys, this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing you in another one of my fun math videos next time. Bye guys!